What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. And welcome back to my little new mini-series on the channel, which I call NRS Bends the Knee. Again? Yes, again, dear fans. And again, dear hornets that may or may not come buzzing around in this video. But more to the point, the Peacemaker trailer just dropped for Mortal Kombat 11. And I wanted to kind of talk about this and react to it. In the Peacemaker trailer, we obviously have John Cena, who I guess is reprising his role as Peacemaker. I don't know much about the character, so I can't really speak too much about that. And then we also have a new cameo called Janet Cage. Now, first off, Mortal Kombat 1 is just not in a good place. The amount of communication that we get from NetherRealm Studios about Mortal Kombat 12, I refuse to call it Mortal Kombat 1, this is Mortal Kombat 1. This game that I'm playing right here, this is Mortal Kombat 1. But the amount of communication that we get from NRS, just in general, is just absolutely pathetic. I mean, it truly is. Speaking of, let's try some Johnny Cage. During the 2013-2024, excuse me, not 2013, 2023-2024 football season, a couple of the devs slash button testers were tweeting about football. Shouldn't you be, like, trying to communicate with the fans about what's going on in your game? Like, really? Like, why exactly are we talking about football? There we go. Speaking of, let's look up what his shadow kick is in here. Back forward low kick. Okay, we're going to do one of them right now. See if we can jump in and do a shadow kick. There we go. So, the game is just in an absolute bad split. It truly is in a horrible place. Worst fatality ever! The sensor, excuse me, finishing move. But to continue on, I mean, the lack of, communica lack of communication is just absolutely astounding. It makes no sense. And even with this new trailer, all we get is just that, a trailer. No added communication, no like, hey, we're sorry for all the desync issues, here's a free extra costume, hey, here's some extra details about what's coming, you know, just, oh, hey, here's a new trailer. And speaking of, let me get to the elephant in the room. With the new trailer, as I said before, we obviously got Peacemaker, okay, you know, if you're into guest characters, cool, whatever. I'm not, I think it should be a Mortal Kombat character. I feel like all these guest characters are just trying to appeal to casuals, just to try to do the same thing that NetherRealm Studios has been doing this entire time, which is to try to, you know, take our wallets, take your credit cards. That's all they care about, their raw day one sales. Wow, you're just gonna... You're just gonna block everything I do here. So, we have Janet Cage. Janet Cage is a cameo now at Mortal Kombat 12. Are you flipping kidding me? NetherRealm Studios, are you, are you flipping kidding? Like, really? What in the, I'm trying to, I'm trying hard not to curse. <laughs> I'm trying very hard, but what in God's green earth are you thinking with this? Like, Okay, you want to have a new female cameo. Cool. What the heck's wrong with Cassie Cage? Janet Cage? A brand new character? And oh, I don't even want to hear someone say, oh, it's supposed to be different story, different timelines, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, Janet Cage already is already in the game. Well, guess what? Scorpion, Sub-Zero, and Kung Lao are all... In Mortal Kombat 12, and they have cameos. So, like, 
you couldn't put Johnny Cage in the game. I mean, why not pull, you know, a design from this game or maybe Mortal Kombat 2? Or hey, if you wanted a slightly different design with some slightly different things, why not take from Mortal Kombat Trilogy? That was a unique, you know, different style because obviously it was a different actor that played him, but Let's see if we can get this. Yep, I hit the button too early. I should have used the remote. Oh, well, we'll get it next time. But Janet Cage, are you freaking kidding me? Like, and what's even worse is if you look very, very closely at it, it looks eerily like one of the developers in Mortal Kombat 12. Stephanie Brownback, a.k.a. 16-bit, it, whatever it is, he, she, it, whatever. And look, you know, again, you want to be a man, lay with another man, fine. Congratulations for you, 16-bit. I'm happy for you. Don't go shoving your politics down my throat. I mean, what's wrong with Cassie Cage? Why can't we have Cassie Cage as a cameo in the game? I mean, bad enough that Cassie Cage is just pretty much a gender swap version of Johnny Cage, which I'll do a separate video about that, and then probably in the next part, soon enough. That'll be in the next episode. As we send Scorpion to the pit. No blood. Flawless victory, though. And all the moves, of course, borrowed from other places. If you look very, very closely at Peacemaker. Cool, we get, oh, we're gonna fight Reptile? Nice. It's just Sub-Zero. I thought he was supposed to be green. Where's his green outfit? Oh, he froze me. Uh, I tried to do Shadow Kick. Oh, no, I got frozen again. And frozen again. Subdue. Cool. Never faced Reptile before. Hey, first time for everything. And also, quick editor's note here. You know, there's no script to this. Just kind of all live, off the cuff. Live reaction, I wanted to talk about the trailer that I saw earlier, saw a couple videos, so shout out to MK Tom Brady, I watched his video earlier about it, oh my god, I just got completely decimated, <laughs> I couldn't even get a hit in. So shout out to him, alright, let's try someone different here, no, oh, why not, speaking of Sub-Zero, and Scorpion, let's give them a try, let's go to his moves here. Fatality is sweep distance, up, up. Ah, bummer, he got me first. Wow. There we go. Hey, all right, cool, got him. But like I said, if you look at the face images for 16-bit and the new Janet Cage, I don't know. Like, did they really have to do that? And then what I was just talking about before with Peacemaker being in the game, I mean, pretty much the majority of all of the moves just look like a you know recycled version of Terminator, Robocop, spawn like how lazy can you get i've seriously come to the conclusion that at this point in time nether studios thought they could just casually go sailing in the high horse or whatever that they were on they could just ride their wave of success they thought they were going to you know ship in this game they'd be you know they would reign supreme they'd be the king of the fighting games with the highest sales they wouldn't have to do anything and the reality is that street fighter 6 and Tekken 8 are proving to be far superior games. Their sales are going to continue to keep improving and going up. And meanwhile, NetherRealm Studios and MK12 sales are just plummeting. The amount of people that are playing the game and online and everything else is plummeting and just absolutely crater catering. Not catering, cratering, excuse me. Oh my god, sorry. Been a long day. Can't talk. 
just absolutely, yeah. Because, yeah, actually, let's talk about, you know, catering because they're not catering to their fans. They're catering to their, you know, casuals because all they want is your wallet. They've made it very, very clear. Oop, I'm too close. There we go. The sales are cratering because they want to cater to only the casual audience. That's what I was trying to say. Forgive me. You know, the amount of people that are playing the game online or playing ranked modes and everything else, just going through the toilet. In meanwhile, their competitors, again, Street Fighter VI, Tekken 8, their sales continue to go up. Their amount of people that are, you know, retaining, as it were. So again, shout out to Tom Brady, who ta has talked about this many times as on his channel. You know, they can obtain, but they can't retain. Is just falling through the floor for MK12. And meanwhile, the competitors are doing a fantastic job. And it's just, you know, this franchise that I've just have absolutely loved my entire life since I first got this game when I was a wee little lad, shall we say. I dare not age myself. You know, I was so excited to get it that year for Christmas. Played the heck out of it on winter break. Remember, you know, just the absolute awe and everything of, you know, seeing it back in the arcade and just to see what it's become. I mean, again, Janet Cage, like no communication from the developers, you know, just up oh, here. Here's a heaping pile of <clears throat> you fill in that blank again. I'm trying not to curse in this video. I dare not try to get stricken down by the Skynet gods. I'm trying to be favorable. Use, you know, proper language. Forgive me, Salenti. Uh-oh, now I face Kano. But again, to see how mighty this once mighty, 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 you know, franchise has fallen. Whoops, and I just ate that. For how far it's fallen and the way that the developers are treating us. It's just sad. Whoop. Honey marmalade. Whoop. Oh. Well, I got washed. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this one. If you have any thoughts, comments below. Feel free. Be respectful. Unless, of course, you're just a troll. Then expect to get chatted, banned. Buzz, buzz. I'm back again to kick the hornet's nest. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching, everybody.